Welcome to episode two of Just Jaina. Today, you are here in my closet. The closet of my wife and I. And the reason you're here is because you want to check out this horrible lighting, huh? That reflects off all of the masculine features of your face. It makes you look pretty gaunt. No, that's not why we're here. We're here because for some random idea I had, I must fulfill this idea, which is showing you my shoe collection from when back, way back when I was living as a boy. Fortunately, the shoe collection can be salvaged and I must find the right clothes to complement these shoes and you'll see why. Um, I have a bit of an obsession with Onitsuka Tigers um, by the brand Asics and the collection I like are the well, the Tigers, more specifically, the Mexico 66. I was always fashionably dull as a little boy. And I always wanted, like, whatever the cool kids wanted. And that was it. Only because they wanted it. And I wanted to fit in with them. Because that's what you're supposed to do as a little boy on the autism spectrum. Secretly transgender femme, right? Right. So... I, I always never had a sense of fashion until I had a dream and a literal dream I was sleeping and I saw these beautiful shoes in the dream and I thought to myself I must absolutely have these but I proceeded to forget about it and until I saw a friend of a friend wearing a pair of shoes that were exactly what I imagined I asked him he said they were the Mexico 66 Onisuka I found my dream shoe so I've collected quite a few over the years, and I can't believe I've spent two minutes talking about the backstory alone. Okay, so what I'm going to pull out for you are my first pair, and I'm going to go through this really fast. So, I can't flip the camera around yet, so my very first pair. They are so fugly. It is awesome. And these were, by the way, the exact colors in my dream. So this was my very first pair. I had found my literal dream shoe. And then I found another style which I quickly navigated toward and that was the fencing style. Um, and I got several pairs of those. This one was obviously the first. I like them because they look like Kill Bill shoes. Um, and I was big into Kill Bill. Um, until, of course, I actually find a shoe closer to that. Which is the also Mexico 66. And they still make these, but they're really expensive. I got mine on sale for like $40. Uh, and always check for sales. Because normally they're 60 to 85 um, So you want to get them like 50 Okay, continuing. Okay, going back. This is also among the first I've purchased. Uh, and they, they're still wearable. And this was like 20 years ago. <laughs> they're still wearable. Okay. Oh, and then you'll see the funny deviation when I was like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't do this ASICS thing. Maybe I should do something more skater punk because I'm a boy and that's what we wear. So I got this huge ass thing, which is like three sizes larger than my foot. Okay. Um, yeah, another boring pair. These were actually woman size 11 and a half, I believe. Way too big. I'm woman size 9. Yes, I am woman size 9. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm finishing up, I swear. Uh, yeah, okay, see, look, more shoes. Okay, then we get really interesting, because then I find these. And now, here I am, okay, my egg had already cracked at this time, so I was like, I want bright and expressive, so I got these. They're still my favorites. Um, a very special shoe I got 15 or maybe 10 years ago were these phoenix actually this one's better Fe phoenix oh these are hand stitched and only a certain quantity were made i paid 140 for them back when i had money um mm -mm -mm. okay well that's it um i will have you know that i have converted my wife and i'm touching her shoes she's gonna be mad if she sees Okay, she has 
some nice colors and she will not let me wear them because she doesn't like sharing things but that's just due to her sister growing up all right well i hope you enjoyed that i'm gonna be in this closet again because this is the sacred closet and i talk a lot about the sacred closet in my story and this is like this is kind of like a cushion and there's some pillows and my wife and I will come in here and talk. And this is where I came out to her. And this is where I talked with her and worked with her through her coming to terms and acceptance of my gender identity. It all happened here. Everything began here. Even before I came out, this is where I would meditate and think about like, is this really happening? Is this who I am? A female? Yeah, so thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you are well entertained and you will see more of me soon. Bye.